so this work here is by Steve Nanota, and it's entitled Ghost Town. I was really thrilled to include, include this work in the show because um, Steve moved to Winnipeg a few years ago. He's teaching at U of M, and uh, this is the first chance we've been able to show his work. He's quite a well-established artist in Calgary, and um, but I think this is new for Winnipeg audiences. That is exactly what assistant curator Cassidy Richardson hopes her very first exhibition at Plugin Institute of Contemporary Art will do. Bring something fresh and new. You know, I did in university, I loved art and I did a BFA in painting at the University of Victoria, but I knew I was never really going to become an artist, but I love the art world and everything that sort of was involved with it. And actually, it wasn't until Kagan McFadden, who works at Platform, came and did a talk at my school, and he explained curation and curatorial schools and a new way to sort of it was open a new world of how to become and stay involved in the art world. Richardson went to San Francisco to get her master's in curatorial practice and came back home to follow her passion at Plugin. Uh, the name of this exhibition is My Winnipeg, The Artist's Choice. And what we did is we invited all the 73 artists from the first three chapters of the My Winnipeg Project to nominate um, new Winnipeg artists. And what happened was we got back around 45 nominations. And from that, that pool of artists, we selected 14 new works, or artists and works to be shown in this final chapter of the exhibition. It was really nice to see that every artist that nominated someone really thought about it and you know we weren't just getting like a one-line email with the names we were like and this is this and this is this and they sort of really were standing behind their nominations which was really great and not having repeats really meant that people had an artist on their mind that they really wanted to support and really wanted to promote in the Winnipeg art scene which was really nice. Richardson had a gut-wrenching time selecting the pieces that would make it into the exhibition, but found a commonality between the artists and their work. Even when I started doing all the studio visits for all the works, there was definitely themes and connections between all the works, and as the time went on, sort of the exhibition kind of grew out of those studio visits and the connection um, I was making with those artists, and a lot of it was about family and about Winnipeg again, and sort of wanting to maintain uh, the thematic process that was in the original show. We really wanted to have that in the artist's choice and not just have it a random selection. So really a lot of the works in the exhibition do speak to each other and it does have a narrative throughout the exhibition space. So. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.